Terraflex is heavy duty chromoly tie rod for the JL Wrangler and JT Gladiator is designed to withstand the extreme conditions and abuse that typically causes a factory tie rod to bend or fail. It fortifies and enhances the steering of any JL Wrangler or JT Gladiator no matter the lift height, tire size, or even the paint color. Begin the installation by removing the steering stabilizer. We show the Falcon EF steering stabilizer coming off, but removing the factory stabilizer is the same process. Remove the bolt connecting the track bar to the axle. In cases where a track bar relocation bracket is installed, remove the bolt that feeds through the original track bar mounting point. Some brackets, like Terraflex's own 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch track bar relocation bracket, cover up the original track bar mounting point, in which case you would install the post mount stud in the relocated track bar mounting point. However, if you can put it in the original track bar location, you should do so. Install the post mount stud using the factory flag nut on the backside. If you happen to have discarded the factory flag nut for whatever reason, a regular flange nut is provided as a replacement, but the flag nut is far easier to install. Remove the factory tie rod from the vehicle. When you take the Terraflex tie rod out of the packaging, you will need to install the tie rod ends. The tie rod should already have anti-seize on the threads, but double check that before you feed the rod ends onto the tie rod. Be aware that the side mark with the line has left-handed threads that correspond to the rod end also marked with a line on the jam nut. Put the retaining springs onto the dust boots. Install the Terraflex tie rod onto the vehicle. You may notice that the tie rod is being installed at the shortest possible length. If you tighten the ball joint hardware using air gum like we do, you may need a second person to push up on the rod end to keep the thing from spinning. Adjust the length so that it matches the factory tie rod length by turning the tie rod. This will ensure that the rod ends are pushed out evenly from the center. When you measure, make sure that it's from the center of the pin to the center of the pin. This measurement will be a little different on every vehicle. For this reason, it is important that when you are finished, you get an alignment from a shop that has experience with off-road vehicles. Make sure the wheels are straight and that the studs and the tie rod ends are straight up and down, and then tighten down the jam nuts. Remember that one side has left-handed threads. Before installing a steering stabilizer, Make sure that the wheels are straight. If you are reinstalling the factory steering stabilizer, loosely install the clamp on the tie rod end.
Install the post mount stud onto the clamp. Install the steering stabilizer onto the axle end. Fully push the stabilizer all the way in and mark its location using the roof guard as a point of reference. Pull the stabilizer out all the way, measure the length, and then mark the halfway point. Set the stabilizer to the halfway point, adjust the clamp's position and connect the stabilizer to the clamp, The center of the clamp stud should be 5.5 inches from the indicated flat surface on the axle. This will place the stabilizer at the optimal angle to avoid contact with the drag link or the axle. Tighten down all the hardware and you're done. If you have a Falcon EF steering stabilizer, like the one we removed at the beginning of this video, the provided clamp is also compatible with those, and so the instructions are as follows. The bracket will need to be removed, so set it into a vise and heat up the area around the stud on the backside with a torch or a heat gun. This will loosen up the thread locker keeping it in place. Turn the stud clockwise to remove it from the bracket. Let it cool down and replace the O-ring with the one provided. Put some thread locker onto the stud and feed the top of the clamp onto it. Place the clamp into the vise using some rags to protect it and tighten the stud. You will still be able to rotate the clamp once the stud is tight so you don't have to worry about aligning it at all. Attach the Falcon stabilizer to the axle with the clamp resting on the tie rod. Center the stabilizer. You should be able to see four inches of chrome shaft on either side of the stabilizer body. To make sure the stabilizer is angled properly, measure five and a half inches from the indicated flat surface on the axle to the center of the shaft. Install the bottom of the clamp. If you have the adjustable Falcon stabilizer, rotate the knob all the way to the left and so it is in the soft position. But what you will see when you look at it from the front is the back of the knob. Simply loosen the bolt at the end of the knob. We wound up having to remove it completely because the knob wouldn't break free from the shaft. That can happen if there's a lot of crud in there. Rotate just the knob until the word soft faces forward and tighten down the bolt, holding the knob in place as you do so. 